Hi, my name is Kat and um, I'm from Vegan Diver Kat and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite diving destinations in the world. For those of you guys who do not know me, um, I have been a scuba diving instructor for about six years. I've been diving for about 10 years and I have traveled and dived in over 17 countries. So I'd love to share with you guys my absolute top favorite spots in the world where you should definitely check out. If you're new here, make sure to join the family. If you're a new scuba diver or someone looking to be a professional in diving, then this is the place for you. Uh, I also talk about conservation, sustainability. Uh, I have a podcast about uh, helping our oceans. So yeah, plenty of resources that you can check out for free out there. So let's make this ocean cleaner, greener, a happier place. So the first and probably most underrated dive spot in the world, and it's the place I recommend for everyone to go to, is actually in Brisbane. So it's where I did my degree and where I dived for six years as a diving instructor. I worked with Go Dive Brisbane, and I'm not joking, every single dive I did out there was beautiful. Brisbane is not as well known for its diving in comparison to places like Cairns, the Great Barrier Reef, and um, I think it's a shame. It's really underrated because there in the summertime, you have the chance to dive with manta rays and leopard sharks. Uh, just check out the video I did about the day uh, in the life as a diving instructor there. It just, that was one of the days and we saw so many beautiful big marine creatures and I'm a sucker for the big marine creatures. Just on one of the first dives like on, um, with, with my students, I, I saw a dolphin chasing a school of barracuda and like capturing, it was just, mind-blowing, gorgeous. And in winter time, when the temperatures are lower, uh, so down around 18 degrees, there's a lot of gray nurse sharks which come and hang out. So that's another fantastic dive. It's just beautiful at depth um, at around 27 meters. And you can just see these scary looking, but completely timid and harmless sharks swimming about. So I definitely recommend you guys go check it out there. Uh, it's dive sites around North Stradbroke Island. There's a bunch of good dive shops there. You can check out Go Dive. They do charter boats now, or you can go straight from um, Stradi, so North Stradbroke Island with Manta Lodge. Highly recommend it. Best diving I have ever done. Um, just consistently good. A little bit more challenging. Um, there can be some currents sometimes uh, and depth is varying and I would recommend to, to have some experience but there's always wonderful instructors available if you do need tips or tricks or anything like that. So that's the first, uh, my favorite dive site in the world. Secondly, favorite diving was in Moheli Komoro. So, uh, before I moved there to work and live as a scuba diving instructor for seven months, I didn't know this country existed at all. So I'm guessing you might not know either. It is this beautiful collection of islands north of Madagascar. And it's just astonishing. So a lot of the dive sites are yet to be discovered. So it's really going into this like unknown destination where you never know what you might see. So there were dives where we saw eagle rays and sharks and so many turtles and it was just incredible. There were other dives where it was more like aquarium type diving, so more like the Great Barrier Reef, like little fish, things like that, but astonishing. Genuinely, I saw species I have never seen before, nudie branks around every corner, uh, unique. Uh, I saw ribbon eels for the first time. Genuinely, it's astonishing. One of my good friends now, Richard, is actually doing tons of filming there. Uh, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled. I'll hopefully be able to share some of that beautiful footage with you guys. So yeah, so number two is Moheli. Number three, where would I say? I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for New Zealand. So the cooler waters around the North Island in New Zealand provide a whole different kind of um, underwater biodiversity that I'm not used to. So instead of coral, which 
primarily live in warmer um, waters, there it's more sponges, but these sponges are brightly colorful. The Pornites Islands up north, Jacques Cousteau has also um, named them as one of the best dive sites in the world, and it, it's no doubt about it. It's just something alien uh, in, out in this world. You just see these like big cliffs going into the ocean and these walls of sponges going up and so many fish swimming about and rays and although if you go there right after the orcas passed the orcas eat all the rays so then you don't see any rays so just a little side note but again orcas passed there so pretty great um so that'd be third uh fourth gotta go with the philippines honestly every dive i did around the Philippines and I did dives in Malapascua, which was insane. I'm a sucker for sharks. So seeing thresher sharks uh, was an incredible experience. But in general, even diving um, on the non shark dive. So just going to the islands, I'll insert some footage. It's gorgeous. It really is. And I, I just loved it. And the coral was so healthy and there was so much biodiversity and the boats are lovely. And just the whole setup is really great. So the Philippines, um, definitely put it up there in terms of must-dos and where you <laughs> where you're gonna sa see some incredible things um, I do want to say if you do go to the Philippines and you want to see whale sharks please do not go to Oslo I went there to kind of check out if it was as bad as um, a lot of articles and things say it is it's kind of worse um, it was such an experience that I didn't even enjoy myself that much um, so I was kicked in the face so many times by like um, all the tourists that I, I couldn't even appreciate the beauty and magnitude of a whale shark. So uh, yeah, maybe don't do that. So that's the fourth. Uh, and then the last place uh, I'm going to say is going to be down south in, I think it was South Australia, Montague Island. It might be New South Wales, I'm not sure. Uh, and this is just diving with sea lions. So you can do this basically anywhere in the world, but it's, it's an incredible experience because they're genuinely puppies of the sea. So you get down there and you can actually play with them. And the more you kind of move around, the more bubbles you make, uh, the more curious they're gonna be in what you are. So you can actually see, see, see their eyes and they're looking at you and they're playing. And uh, I just loved, loved doing that. That was one of my favorite dives. I did it on my 2016 road trip around Australia and oh, incredible place. Uh, so yeah, those are my top five favorite dive sites in the world. Please let me know what your favorite dive sites are so I can add them to my list. Uh, I am already planning a trip to Raja Ampat in, next year, so that's very exciting. I'm hoping to go to Tonga soon. Uh, and yeah, of, co of course Galapagos one day and uh, South Africa, got to see the sharks, the big sharks. There's just so many places to go. So please share with me your favorite place you've gone down and let me know, have you been to the places I've been diving? What did you think? Uh, do you agree with me? Would you consider diving Brisbane? So many questions. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please feel free to contact me on Instagram or anything like that. I love hearing from you guys. See ya.